absolutely. Yeah, things things are changing so quickly, um, and uh, and we're doing everything that we can to to adapt to those and, and abide by the recommendations of the the health experts and the governor, uh, while still being able to uh, to have services. So we are moving all of our services to an online platform. So we won't be having any meetings in our in our church buildings, but instead we'll be offering online services. Antioch Christian Church is one church in two locations, Marion and here in Oline. We share the same teaching across all campuses. So if you were here on a typical Sunday morning when we could all gather here together at the building, uh, Everything in the service, from the music to the communion and, and all of that would be live and in person. It's, uh, the only difference would be when it comes to the, to the teaching time, to the sermon, the message. That would be shown on a screen there um, while it's happening in Marion. So we get to all share in the same teaching. Um, so yes, in a way, um, if you've attended here, you'll be somewhat used to seeing Pastor Greg or in this, this Sunday, Pastor Chris Thomas is preaching for mm -hmm. us. And, be used to seeing the message on a screen. It's just that uh, you'll be watching it from home. For those online services, I'll be uh, one of the one of the chat room hosts. So we'll have several of our staff available during the online services to talk with people through the chat room if they're asking questions about the church or the service or they would like prayer. Then we can uh, pull them into a, a private chat and, and be able to address their needs specifically. I, I, I can't say that this is exactly how uh, I envision much of, much of anything playing out these days, but we, we, you know, we just adapt and keep rolling. You know, our mission stays the same. We're here to lead people into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. And, and so the methods may change and, and are changing all the time to accomplish that mission, but the mission stays the same. So mm. we'll adapt, we'll do whatever we need to do to make sure we can stay on mission. Our website is www.lifeisforliving.org, lifeisforliving.org. And when you get to that homepage, um, right now you'll see a countdown leading up to our first online service time, which will be Saturday at 6 p.m. Okay. Um, and right underneath that countdown is a button to click to take you right to that service. We're all kind of just rolling with, rolling with this together. Like, in a, in a way, none of us really knows what's coming next. Um, but the sense that I felt is generally optimistic. That sure, some of the changes and restrictions that have been uh, been placed on you know everybody is mm -hmm. is challenging. But a lot of people are really trying to make the most of it and trying to make the best of it. Um, the time, the extra time home with family, with the kids. Mm -hmm. um, for myself, I know we're, we're learning how to structure our days to make the most of that mm -hmm. um, so that it's not just kind of one really, really, really long spring break, uh, but that we're continuing to try to maintain all the things that they've learned. Uh, so we're still kind of learning and figuring that out for ourselves. But mm -hmm. uh, generally, people seem to be the ones that I've been in contact with, they're starting to take it more more seriously. Um, I think we all are. At first, we weren't sure how seriously to take all of this. And then once you start hearing the numbers and the statistics and mm -hmm. the recommendations, you realize, okay, this is something that we should do. And we, and we want to be good stewards of, of our resources and, and the people that that come here. You know, we want to do what's, what's best for everybody. And so that's why we've made a lot of these changes. But... Yes, generally speaking, I think people are they're very understanding of the of the restrictions and are excited for the day when those restrictions yeah. will be gone.